Hi, this is Peg from Two Old Crows Mixed Media, and I would like to thank you for choosing my page to learn how to create a boho bead to use as a spine embellishment on your junk journaling or as a page embellishment out of a paper tube. So we will be creating a boho bead from a magazine page and I also have a video that you can watch that creates them from a twig. So the one you see here in the center is the one that we are going to work on. These are my prototypes and we will start with a strip of magazine paper. I'm folding the end of it to make it easy to attach and begin rolling on the skewer. Now with this magazine strip, uh, what you will want to do is cut it the width of the length you want your bead, if that makes sense or if I make sense. So cut your magazine strip as wide as you would like your bead long. And then just roll it and you can use a toothpick, I'm using a skewer, you can use a pencil, anything round that you can roll that strip of magazine sheet around. So once you get it to the end, um, grab a glue of your choice. I am utilizing a glue stick and I am going to glue the end of that you know, just by dabbing that glue stick on it and then continuing to roll it until it is um, complete and has formed a tube. Once I have it secure, I'm going to pull it off the skewer. And there you have the beginning of your boho bead or the foundation of your boho bead. So what we will do now is create a inner piece of, <coughs> excuse me, an inner piece of wire that is going to give us the capability to put the um, dangle on the bottom and put the bulb pin on the top. So I use copper. There's a number of different things you can use. You can use craft wire, you can use uh, copper. I buy mine in bulk. You can pick it up in the electrical section at the hardware store. So I have just cut off a piece of copper that is considerably longer than my paper tube and I am creating a loop by utilizing my round nose pliers and just wrapping the wire around those round nose pliers and then tying the um, loop off by bringing the end of that wire back around three, four, maybe five times, whatever you choose. Just a, a simple jewelry loop is what it is. And once I have that complete, I am going to place on the piece of copper two beads. Um, I'm choosing two because I want to put a little bit of turquoise in here and I have some small turquoise beads. So I'm gonna stick the smallest bead on first and then I am going to put on a lapis bead that is larger than the opening in my paper tube. And the reason you want a bead that is larger is you want it to sit on the top of that paper tube and not fall down inside it. It's holding your paper tube in place. So at the other end, I'm going to put the larger bead first and then the little piece of turquoise second. And once again, we will create that loop with the remainder of the wire. Okay, so now I'm just going to pull in my round nose pliers. I pulled it back a little bit to create a 45 degree angle and then just rolled it forward to create that loop. Grab the end and wrap it around three to four times to secure it. Then trim off the excess and utilize the pliers to push down any 
piece of uh, wire that is is sticking out you want everything flush so it doesn't catch on something or or um, is not there to prick something so now I'm going to pull out some batik fabric that is already uh, torn into strips and we're going to use this to wrap around the paper tube I would like for it to be a little thinner, so I'm going to tear it in half. I'm not going to cut it in half. I'm going to cut it slightly to get the uh, fabric started and then just rip it. That ripping gives a nice jagged edge on the side of the fabric, which I like for the boho beads. Utilizing Fabri-Tec glue, a fabric type glue to adhere the fabric to the paper and then I will roll or twist the fabric around the paper tube until we get to the end and we'll secure it again with a little bit of glue. Okay, so now you have the foundation of your boho bead together. There's, there's a number of things that you can do now. You can come back with a piece of lace, a piece of cheesecloth, whatever you choose. What I have decided to do on this particular bead is I am going to pull out my uh, seed beads. Now you'll see that I have a paper um, pen or a uh, pen that I have attached to the bottom of this and I did not show you me attaching that pen because I'm going to take that off uh, before I finish this bead. I found that it didn't dangle the way I liked it so I don't use that in the finished finished uh, boho bead. So I'm just going to choose a color of seed bead that I can put on my strip of wire or my piece of wire and I'm going to pull in a finer gauge, a um, 24 gauge wire, which is thinner, finer, if you, if you will. And I will string these seed beads onto that. And then we will wrap them around the outside edge of this boho bead. Now, what you will notice when I start to string these beads is I don't cut a piece of wire. And I do that, I leave that attached to the spool because then I do not have to um, be finicky with the wire or uh, hold it in a certain way to keep the seeds from, seed beads from falling off the other end. It just kind of keeps everything secure and in place. So I do not cut the wire off of the spool until I have all of these seed beads attached and once they're all attached I'm just going to shake them down to the end and begin to wrap them before I ever cut that piece of wire. So at the top I'm just going to um, secure my um, wire on the bead by wrapping it tightly around the top four or five times and then I will start my wrap around the bead. And before I ever cut the wire off the spool, I you know, secured the other end by wrapping it four or five times around the bottom, cut the wire and use the pair of pliers just to push down and secure that end piece. And now I'm going to uh, add a dangle. So with a jump ring, you take the jump ring and you um, move that uh, one side towards you, one side away from you. You never pull them apart to open that jump ring and stick my charm on, place my um, loop that I created on the boho bead and put the boho bead on and then 
close that jump ring back up. What I like to do when I close these jump rings is just go kind of back and forth, back and forth a few times to work harden that piece of silver um, plated wire. And now I'm going to put a bolt pin on the other end, which will give me the mechanism to secure it to the edge of the book, to the edge of a page, or to whatever I choose to use this boho bead on. And that completes it. It's a very inexpensive way to create this boho bead out of a out of a magazine page and I think they look great. It's um, very easy, very simple, something you can do with leftover fabric, leftover scraps, lace scraps, bead scraps, etc. So thank you very much for joining me on this video. I appreciate it greatly. I try to add content weekly, so I would genuinely appreciate it if you would like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel so you can join me in this junk journaling journey.